Hello, and thank you for viewing my presentation on the cause and effect essay. This is one of the most common rhetorical modes or types of essays that students are instructed to write in first year composition courses. Okay, let's get started. What is cause and effect? Cause and effect essays examine the reasons why a situation or event occurs and the outcomes that are involved as a result. For example, why do people tend to overeat? This question requires you to think of reasons or causes for overeating. On the other hand, this question, what happens as a result of overeating, focuses on the effects or consequences of overeating. In fact, let's take a look at this topic a little more closely by brainstorming possible causes and effects for each question that could become an outline for an essay assignment. Okay, let's take a look at the first question. What causes people to overeat? Here are some possible causes for overeating. Stress, skipping meals, boredom, now, to use these points in an essay, you would need to think of more details and examples to support each of these points in the body of an essay. Let's take a look at the next question. What are the effects of overeating? Obesity, health problems, fatigue. All of these are possible consequences or effects of overeating. Let's talk about organizing the essay. There are several ways to organize a cause and effect essay. Some essays might concentrate on causes while others might focus only on effects. Some topics require a combination of both. The key is to clearly discuss causes and effects without mixing them together or forgetting to give details for one or the other. Let's take a look at three possible essay structures. The first essay structure focuses on causes. This can also be used to write a paper that focuses only on effects. The second structure combines both causes and effects in the body of the paper by alternating discussions of the causes first, followed directly by a discussion of the effects. Be careful if you use this structure and make sure that every cause and every effect is balanced. The last structure also combines causes and effects. However, this outline details all of the causes first, then discusses all of the effects without alternating back and forth. Use your topic to help you choose the most effective organizational structure. A cause makes something happen. These are points to remember about cause and effect. An effect is a result of something that happens. Remember the cause usually happens first and the effect is a result that comes after. Look at this example. She hit the brakes too late and smashed into the car in front of her. The first half of the sentence is the cause, she hit the brakes too late, and the second part is the effect, smashed into the car in front of her. Now let's take a look at phrases that signify whether a paragraph is talking about a cause or an effect. In topic prompts or paragraphs in the body of an essay, these phrases serve as clues in determining if the focus is on causes or effects. For example, to show causes, you might see these words, give reasons why, explain why, why, what is the cause of, another factor, because, results from. To show effects, these phrases are some you might see. The results of, consequently, what is the impact of, one important effect, another result, outcome, or as a result. Now let's take a look at cause and effect in action. Read this paragraph, then decide if it focuses on causes or effects. 
you might want to pause the presentation to read this paragraph. This paragraph focuses on causes. Okay, let's take a look at another paragraph. Again, you might want to pause the presentation here in order to read this paragraph. This paragraph focuses on effects. Here are some possible topics for a cause and effect essay with more options on the next two concluding slides. But before choosing one of these, ask your instructor for specific assignment requirements and additional topic choices. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the cause and effect essay after viewing this presentation.